Hello everybody, it's the um, end of April now and uh, I've just bought myself a new strimmer to go around some of the more overgrown parts of the garden that had got a little bit out of the hand and um, well, I knew it was there really but I've just pulled out my fusion project, a pollard willow which had been tucked to one side and uh, left to sort of get on with it most of last summer and uh, as you can see it's grown really quite tall uh, and it started growing away quite nicely we have fusion in some places not in others uh, as I work my way around got the odd dead piece which can come out here I'm basically going to make this the beginnings of a timey-wimey video and I'm filming it on my phone because it's just, as I said, a spur-of-the-moment thing and uh, I'm just going to whack back all these long growths to try and form that glorious head that, or knuckle, some might call it, on a... Um, Pollard willow. I'm not fussed about the odd dead piece, um, as you might be in regular fusions or regular fusion projects, because um, you know you often see a lot of dead wood in a pollard willow. As I say, I'm filming this on my phone, so I hope it's not too wobbly. I'm also cutting with my left hand, which isn't easy, seeing as I'm right-handed, but there you go. Swap hands. knew it was going to be more awkward to hold the phone with my left hand. Uh, pollard willows are a dime a dozen around where I live. Um, each one has its own glorious character and uh, yeah, I really enjoy them, which is why I wanted to create a large one of my very own. So there we have it. I'm going to put it back against the fence and leave it, and we'll come back and visit it through the year. It's the 15th of May, and uh, as I had hoped, the tree is just throwing out new buds in all directions and uh, hopefully that'll speed up the fusion it's the uh, 8th of june now and as you can see the um, tree is shot out rather nicely and what i'm doing now is i just rather than just letting these shoots grow and grow and grow as i've done in other years to try and force that fusion what I'm actually doing now is I want the uh, winter silhouette of the growth against that that sort of knuckle of growth um, to be in proportion and so I am stopping these growths um, at what I think of as a proportionate length and um, obviously the tree will probably sprout some more um, will this slow up fusion slightly? probably um, but again I think I'll get a better winter silhouette
and everything's a trade-off I guess um, I want that better silhouette then I need to do this I'm sure I've missed one or two um, and as they grow up pop their heads up above the parapet um, and then I can nip them off got a lot of growth down low um, which will help fatten this trunk so all in all we'll get there slowly but surely It's the uh, 22nd of July and the tree has responded rather well. Um, where I pinch it out, it's starting to shoot back in various places. Um, also putting out some more shoots on the inside here and that's keeping it all in a kind of proportion and yet hopefully fueling the thickening of these pieces to um, finally achieve fusion. It's the 10th of July now and uh, I'm going to finish up this video here. Uh, I'm just going to give it another clip over just to keep that silhouette um, looking like the trees that I see around and about me. Otherwise these shoots will just keep growing um, and it will become entirely uh, out of proportion. I'm going to have to get some gloves and do a bit of weeding. I've got some stinging nettles coming up in here but I'm finally seeing a lot of good fusion so that's good. The rest of this year is probably just going to be taken up with me nipping out the growing tips um, as it sort of grows out of proportion. We'll come back in the autumn, winter, and see its winter silhouette. That's what we'll do. Make sure you're subscribed for that. And then there's nothing else left for me to say, but thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Do all the usual YouTube things, liking, subscribing, commenting below. But most of all, please, 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 stay safe, everybody.